Hello, welcome to the south of France. We are in the Camargue region. We are staying just outside Parole. We got the train from London and then we swapped in Paris and then we got the train from Paris to Montpellier. From here, we can walk to the water to see amazing flamingos. We can also walk to the beach in about 20 minutes, half an hour, and then we can get the tram into Montpellier, which is absolutely beautiful. I really, really love the south of France. I think there's just so much to see and do here. This morning we went to the Les Arco, sorry for my pronunciation, market to pick up produce, have a look around, get some coffee. <laughs> Les touristes. What do you want? I'm going to go white. Yeah, go for it. Mm. Where are we off to, Venetia? Coffee. We're off to get coffee. We haven't had coffee today, which is from a place that we went to before. I don't know what it's called, do you remember? No. We've been before and it was really good and they do excellent cold brew. Coffee secured. Avocado toast, I think, with mushrooms, butter, Max's favorite, potatoes for breakfast. Oh, you've already, oh my gosh. Yep, thank you. Hello, good morning. I just did a class on the Lottie Murphy Pilates platform. I did Emily's, I think it's like a 40 minute stretchy flow, which felt really good. While I was doing it, I just saw so many flamingos flying overhead, which is just the best thing. They kind of look like aeroplanes when they're swooping down to the water, but much less scary. That's how we've been starting our days here. We've been meditating for 10 minutes and then doing some exercise and making sure that we do it first thing in the morning before we get distracted by other things. Very grateful for all the birds. Really, when I say meditate, Max is meditating. I'm bird watching. I recognize it's been a little while since I checked in with you and that's because it's been Monday and Tuesday here. So we have been working which is obviously not ideal, but life of being self-employed. We, this morning, ran, I think, three miles to try and find a organic shop that sells things like tofu and our favourite yoghurt. As you might know, this one, it's absolutely brilliant. That's like one euro, that was one euro. Yeah, in France it's a euro, one euro, which is, and in the UK I think I've seen it for 150 in our local yeah. organic shop, which is so great, good. so good, and it's the best yogurt. I'm, 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 I will fight till the bitter end on that, it's the best plant-based yogurt. Anyway, the first organic shop we went to is closing down, which was very, very sad, and they didn't have the yogurt, and they didn't really have anything because they're literally closing down. So we ran further to the next one, following the instructions, from the person who kindly told us where the second one was from the first one. Anyway, we got there. And while we were there, we found the yogurt, we found tofu, all the good stuff. And we also found this chocolate. And we are experimenting a bit with our dark chocolates this week, which is my ideal way to spend an evening. And I thought I would do a little taste test for you. So this is it. It has bloomed because we're in a hot climate. Oh, and it's dark praline. It's nice. It's very creamy. Mm, that was my first note. Oh, you've tried it? Yeah. It is giving Nutella. I would argue that if you're after a nougat chocolate, I think this one's better. Mm. Thoughts? Yeah, it's nice. Mm. Anyway. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt to mine. Oh, fleur de sel. I'm gonna do the same. You guys must think I always add loads of salt and that is a result of being married to a chef. We are bringing that salt container pot back with us. Yeah. If we don't finish the salt, we're bringing that back. 100%. Such nice salt. Nice. 
No way. Flying flamingos. I missed the most important part. Best moment of the day. Breakfast. I'm just going to the beach. Oh, and by the way, England just won and they're in the finals, which is so exciting. Um, anyway, just going to the beach. This is my outfit. I've got on the bikini that I got on Depop. This top, which I've had for quite a few years now from a brand called Bonafide. I don't think they're running anymore, sadly. And then this skirt, which we've we've talked about so many times. I think it's just turned maybe seven years old. One of my favorite pieces originally from a fast fashion brand. And I'm wearing my Birkenstocks, which I also got secondhand. On our way to the beach. A little bit hot, a smidge. How do you say that in French? Uh, petit peu. Solo is in French. Can you just move out the way for the... No. Thank you. All evening. I just, same outfit, just different necklace for this evening. Max just made some pasta with a lovely tomato sauce. Oh! And basil. From a basil plant that you brought back to life, right? My friend would say no white tops with a red sauce, but I'm doing it. Mmm, that's lovely. With mushrooms? Mm-hmm. And hazelnuts. And hazelnuts? Yeah, crush up hazelnut. Oh, and then tonight we have our last Take Action Against Big Fashion workshop in like 20 minutes. So I probably won't see you until tomorrow. But until I next see you, bye. I've just changed into this outfit, my bikini. I think I've shown it to you. Yeah, I've shown it to you before. I got it on Depop. My hat is from last summer. It's from the Naughty Ones. Also got this from Depop. Got a lot of Depop for me. Uh, my Birkenstocks. Since I've been here, I have been doing quite a lot of reading and a couple of the books that I would love to recommend to you are as follows. If you are someone who reads quite a lot, definitely check out my bookshop.org page where I kind of collate all of the books that I've loved, that I want to read and that I am reading. I finished Ultra Processed People by Chris Van Tullucken, which I thought was really, really great. Actually, if you're interested in big food and the food system, it's a really great expose into ultra processed food and companies like Nestle and McDonald's. The author has quite a, well, a breadth of knowledge because he's a doctor and he's surrounded by medical professionals. He consulted with one of the hosts of the Maintenance Phase podcast, which is one of my all-time favourite podcasts. Cannot recommend it enough. And the way he talks about um, obesity is very much as a systemic problem. He talks about it with a lot of care and a lot of compassion and a lot of kindness and that's quite rare to be honest in the like well at least when I look at the medical sphere I feel like they just aren't so kind in that regard it's very much a book that's punching up it's not a book that punches down at individuals and and the way people eat the other book that I have finished and I read in no time at all which I would just love you to read because it is exceptional. It's called Black Girl No Magic by Kimberly McIntosh. It's a collection of essays about a variety of topics including class and race and drugs and it's just so brilliantly written. If you were a fan of Gia Tolentino's Trick Mirror this will be right up your street. I absolutely 
loved it. It's now easily one of my favourite non-fiction reads. It's just the kind of book that I tear through because I'm just so fascinated with absolutely everything that Kimberly has to say. It's a really astute observation of so many different things told from the perspective of a black woman who I would say is around my age, maybe like 30-ish. Um, I loved it. Can't recommend enough. Highly, highly recommend. I'm currently reading Who Cares by Emily Kenway. So my plan for this afternoon is to read as much of that as I possibly can. Wearing one of my most worn dresses this evening just because it's so light. It's literally all I wear when it gets to 30 degrees plus. It is from Christy Dawn. What are we going to do now? We're going to watch a film now. Right? Yeah, you probably don't want to talk about it. Mm -mm. Okay. We're going to watch a film now, but I'm not talking about films and TV shows anymore on this channel until everything with the strikes in Hollywood is sorted. So things might feel a bit different and I'm really sad about it, but got to do what I've got to do to support striking workers. Solidarity with striking workers, always. Tomorrow is our last day. Final, well it's not an outfit, but final look of the holiday is this swimsuit, which actually has a story behind it. So I'm gonna tell you the story. The story behind this swimsuit is that I borrowed it from a friend three or four years ago for my honeymoon with Max and loved it so, so much. Genuinely thought it was one of the best things that I'd ever worn. Um, just because I really, really love the belt that it has around the middle. I know this isn't, but like, this is quite a common thing with swimwear, but I really, really love the belt. And just the fit, the kind of plain chic vibe of a black swimsuit, I think is always a winner. Borrowing clothes from friends is quite a good way to figure out, especially if you're in a bit of a style rat and you have the privilege of being able to swap friends with your clothes. Swap clothes with your friends. Obviously there is privilege in that because you might not be the same size, but if you're able to, it's a really good way to figure out your style and the kind of things that you love wearing. So I have been on a hunt for this swimsuit for the longest time. I was scouring all the secondhand apps like eBay, Vinted, Depop, Vessier, all of them for this specific swimsuit. And there were loads and loads of similar ones, but they didn't have the belt. And then it finally appeared on eBay and I managed to get it for half the price, half the original price. I'm so glad I waited. I absolutely adore it and know it's gonna be in my wardrobe, hopefully for a very long time. I really hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me in France and I'll be back soon with another video. Sending you loads of love, bye.